what I'm bunny. It needs a small one, small holes. It's got small holes. Can you yeah, fit your little one, finger through? No, I don't need that. But the one on so the it's feet are... The black, the big oh, so it's got the black, yeah, yeah it's got big holes. Okay, well, that would be what it would be tangled in, wouldn't it? Oh, he climbed. You reckon? Yeah. yeah. Hello. Uh, it looks like he's in a. Wow, okay, he's a lot better than what it was yesterday in the way he was tangled. So he must have untangled himself a bit more. Oh, no, he's. Pretty tangled. Hey? Hello. Have you been trying to chew yourself off? You have, haven't you? Chew it's been trying to chew its way out of the netting. I'm going to have to. I'll be quiet, sweetheart. And, well, pee now so that you're not peeing on me. Yeah, he's peeing. Making himself light to, to get away. I just want to. Well, they, yes, they do bite. They bite hard and they don't like to let go. Okay, I'm so just going to do that for a second. You have to be vaccinated for rabies. I'm going to cut this netting just in a great big... Move your little face away, sweetheart. I know you're in a bad mood and I know that you haven't had a very good day. However, I am actually helping you. Yeah, you can bite on that. Bite away. Bite away on my towel, because wherever you're biting that, you're not biting me, which I think is... Yeah, I know. That's all right. Now, I'm keeping him tangled because I don't want him to climb to the top of the tree like he's trying to do. So I've still got him here, and he's still tangled around here. I actually will need a small stepladder. Do you have one here? Oh, that milk crate. The milk crate. Okay. So I'm just putting that tangled so that I can um, keep him from going too far. He's going to scream whenever I try and catch him. Don't even think about that. That wasn't very nice. You tried, didn't you? Yeah. That's all right. I got him now. Yeah, well, I've got hold of his head and he doesn't like it, so... But I'm also taking the weight off it so that he's... It's a matter of getting the netting untangled from the tree now. Okay, that's off. Out. Now I've got one hand around each side of it. Here we are. I got you. I got you, babe. There we are. There we are. It's all over. Just um, pull it over onto the concrete for me, please. And then put the towel down in front of it because I'll kneel on it. Now, here. Oh, yeah, because yeah. yeah. I'm an old lady. Yeah. 
I love the bats. Do you? Yeah, I love them lots. They're funny. They're smart. Have you got a pet one for yourself? No, you don't. They're not pets. Yeah. Bats are not pets. Bats are wild animals and should be Can frying for. Why they're why they're why they're protected for? Um, because the, the, the population the yeah. population is dropping by 7% per year. Oh, really? Um, even though you think there's millions of them. When I started, there were you know, a few million of the greys, this particular one, but um, there's only about 450,000 now, so in 50 years we've lost quite a lot of bats over of what? these. Over what? Um, in 15 years. Um, no, just um, the population drop, um, habitat loss, um, heat stress. Um, habitat loss, losing their corridors, their food corridors. Yeah. You're a good boy, they girl. They even earlier now because some of the fruit, even at home. Boy. The boys, eh? Yeah. And, uh, even at home, I've got persimmons, but they're green still, but they're coming but, early uh, now. Okay. Well, with early. with all the rain, yeah. the, um, the bats have lost a lot of their food because the nectar and pollen is washed out out of the um, blossom and so it means you just keep your little face under there we'll be good friends providing you keep your face under it and you're not going to are you right. um, so the food value is is quite compromised and we've had quite a lot of rain but the upside is in a while there'll be huge amounts of flowering once the rain stops if it ever stops but their main source of food is fruit, isn't it? Fruit, rainforest fruit, nectar and pollen, blossom, and some leaves. Okay. No, 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 I know, and no. people think, oh, there's millions of them. There's not. There's um, greys and bl blacks now. When I started, there weren't any blacks in Sydney, and now so we see foxes, there's black, black flying foxes, and on the edges of town, there's little red flying foxes as oh, well. Really, really? And they're highly numerous. They're not protected. I mean, they're wow. protected as wildlife, but they're not um, listed as what vulnerable. They, what they, don't eat, um, they, 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 they're more nectivorous, and they have a more westerly distribution. Okay, okay with this netting, um, if you tie it up in a plastic bag so that it doesn't tangle anything, Else. I'm going to throw it out. Yeah, but tie it up in a plastic bag, okay, when, yeah, okay, yeah. bag when you throw it out, sure. so it, anything foraging in the tip doesn't get tangled in it. Yeah. And so when they're as tangled as this, you just keep cutting until you find your yeah, way I'm out. Find a break. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, you. He's good now. Eh? He's pretty quiet. Now. Well, yeah, this is surprising actually, and I, because it's black netting, I have to be really careful that I don't cut him, mm. um, because you can't always see. I was actually cutting a, a boy out of black netting before and there was a great big thick wad of netting and I cut and I managed to cut it into his thumb because it was tangled up in the... Uh, no, I really hurt his thumb. What sort of diseases do they carry? They can carry a rabies virus. We don't have a rabies in Australia, but we have Australian bat virus, which is a rabies type virus. Not having rabies, it just means that we don't... What's up there, mate? There we are. Yeah, you give me that. You give me that. Because I'm getting you out. Um, it means that we don't have rabies in the dog population. We don't have it no, in the wildlife yeah. population or the um, livestock population. We don't have it in the terrestrial wildlife population. So we don't have it on any, any of the ground dwelling. Um, what about possums? They don't have it. Oh, they haven't got rabies. No. Nah. What are they? Well, whatever they can get here. They don't like really carry any particular, not in the way of viruses or anything. So, I mean, if you get bitten by one, then you probably need antibiotics because, you know, it'll get infected because it's a puncture wound. Yeah. Okay, mate. Yeah, let's keep going. <laughs> yes, yes, I know. And the more you get out, the more they get out, the more they um, try and escape. Yeah, so at this stage, now I, I have to do it just one-handed because I've got to keep him under control. Do you just let him go now from here? Oh, no. 
Look, at, see, see, he's been trying to chew his way out. See, he has his lips all fat. Yep, yep, yep. There? Yes, yep, yep. That's because he's been trying to chew his way out. Okay, he's not going to like it, but I'm just holding on to his neck now because I don't need to be bitten. I'm vaccinated, but um, you still have to um, get a booster injection and the whole thing's just a pain in the ass. So. What did now, you think about what this, when it's corona, they say they start with the bats? What did you think of that? Um, I reckon the bats have had the viruses for hundreds of thousands of years yeah, yeah. and it's never infected a human until a human worked their way somehow into um, allowing it to spread and allowing it to become a pandemic. Of course, the world governments didn't act quickly enough because they thought it wouldn't be a really big thing because it so, would be like SARS. It, yeah. um, we have air travel, global air travel, so that spread it around the, um, so, so you think the world. Start from the bats? Um, they said that it's 96 point something percent similar to one that they found in a horseshoe bat in China. What, what sort of a horseshoe bat? A tiny it? little micro bat. Oh, the little bats. Okay, but they really do think it's gone via a pangolin in the wet markets. So if you put, them, if you put, them, um, yes, if you put stressed animals together that would normally come into contact with each other, you're going to find that um, there's going to be a viral spillover. Yeah, sure, so yeah. basically this virus, um, this COVID, is totally down to mankind, totally down to um, environmental stress, mismanagement. Hello, look at you handsome boy, look at your handsome face. All the girls are going to love you because it looks like you've socked somebody in the jaw and yet somebody socked you back. Yes, bite on that. Good. Good boy. He's done up like a dog's dinner. He's going to have quite a lot of damage to his membrane. The, the, the mesh causes death to the membrane because it blocks off the blood supply. I think I've got him all. That's right. Well, as I said, he's only there from last night, so... <coughs> yeah, I know, but he's done himself up like a dog's yeah. dinner and he's going to have quite a lot of damage. Um, so now, now? I'm going to take him to a carer that's <coughs> got a, a bat room because I live in an apartment yeah. and I don't have adult males in my apartment. Oh, yeah. so you can take care of them too at your place? Well, no, I don't. Be, okay, now the problem is he has broken uh, tips of two. Okay, now oh, this is, this is going to be, no, well, look, he's got dead fingers. That's, fi that's finger bone. That membrane's supposed to go up to oh, there. Okay, yeah, okay yeah. so he's lost up to there, and he's lost to there, because the bone's yep. dead, right there and there. So I don't know if he's going to have enough membrane to fly afterwards, because that's quite a large... Oh, that he a should... Okay. Well, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah okay. it should be enough, yeah. I think. Yeah. Does that grow back or no? No. Okay, well, well, because the dead, bone... Yeah. Well, the bone is dead. Yeah. That's yeah. the problem. A membrane would grow back if it's got mm. living bone. To, to grow on to. So that, and see, there's all bruising there. See how it's, yeah, it's yeah, red? Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, if you hold it up to the yeah, light. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so um, that's all bruising. And come on, darling, let me have a look at you. And I've got and some... The other side. Um, the other side hasn't got the broken bones. Okay, good. Um, it wasn't so bad. Can I put you over like this? I'm going to give you a bit of glucose. What's that See, for? Just coming down a bit? Um, glucose is just um, because in shock, glucose reduces shock. Oh, geez, he's staying there, isn't he now? Yeah, he's not good. See, he's very quiet now. He's done his I'm fighting you. He's not going to um, taste it. If he actually tasted it, he's going to go, yeah, I'm not letting you put anything in my mouth. Okay. Are you going to taste it for me, mate? Hmm? So... In all, now, if you have a look, yeah, you stay there, sweetheart. Oh, now, he's rubbed off. Yeah. See between his eyes, at that bit yeah. there, he's yeah. rubbed off all this, the skin near his eye. So he may have damaged his eye. It doesn't look too bad at the moment, but I'll put some eye drops in. All these veins have gone really ropey. Well, they're not okay, veins, they're yeah. tissues. And that'll all be swollen and inflamed tomorrow. That'll all be blistery. And is that, is that pain for him? Yes. So he'll get something for pain. 
Yeah, I know, but you don't want to escape because I'm the best of your options. Uh, so yes, he's got a few issues, and I don't know if he'll survive. They um, have issues with um, oh, renal failure, oh, okay. oh, with yeah. renal failure because they need um, lots of fluid. Uh, their kidneys don't concentrate urine, so they get dehydrated easily. Um, and so he may die of renal failure tonight, and that's also because when they struggle to get out of netting. Um, the struggle causes muscle damage and the muscle damage lead, um, has a byproduct, yeah. um, myoglobin, yeah. and it, once it's in the bloodstream, myoglobin is toxic to the kidneys. So, okay. So I don't know how he's going to go. The top netting's okay. Why don't you get some more of that? It's not yeah, expensive. Nah, look, we're going to actually, on the weekend, probably... Take it off. The, 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 the rain stuffed up all the figs anyway, whatever we've got left anyway, so we get rid of it. Okay. <coughs> won't they ripen? No, they won't anymore. It's too late. Yeah, okay. And as soon as it rains, see so how yeah, they just open up, bang. Yeah, they're okay. Well, and, but, the, but they're hard, are they? Yeah, they're hard too, yeah. Okay. Yeah. You can't last cook year. them or preserve them <coughs> like that or not? I'm curious. Nah. I don't know anything last about figs, year, just that I don't like them. Yeah. Oh, you don't like them? No. Nah. Oh, I don't like figs. Oh, jeez, they're beautiful. She made uh, fig jam. She, we, yeah. Because we've got so many of them between yeah. you and those two over there. Yeah. But this year, because the rain's been shit for everything anyway, even yeah. veggies and you know, yeah. been crap. Okay. Thank you very much for that. That's all right. Thanks um, for coming over yeah. here.